Russ, thanks for joining me today. Thank you, Paige, thank you. It's uh, lovely to be with you today. Can you tell me a little bit about yourself, your role, and semantics as a whole? So, um, Elias Hanzos, the name is difficult because it's Greek. Okay. Um, <laughs> I was wondering uh, what the origin was. So, yeah. I, I am Brussels based in terms of work, and I am responsible for the government affairs of Semantic everywhere outside America. Okay. So, from, for EMEA and APJ. So, a lot of the work is about in Brussels, as it is to be expected, yeah, public government, policy, yeah, government, impact of regulation, educating the regulators about where we are and where the technology industry and the security industry okay. is going. And uh, in my case, of course, there's a lot of traveling yes. because, yeah, uh, yeah you got to be in Asia too. Europe is, is by no means, and may I say, it's by no, no means a small place. A very, yeah, a okay. Small so, so exactly. So it's it's EU. It's a very important part. A lot of regulation and policy there, but it's a much bigger region. Okay. So um, um, I'm responsible for a team of uh, dedicated cyber cyber security and governance professionals. Okay. Um, Fifteen years with Symantec, lawyer by training. Okay. Have worked in the EU uh, okay. for some time before joining Symantec. So um, have seen a bit of the government world as well as uh, the corporate. Okay. Rundown on Symantec itself. As we're about to hit around the booth, I'd love to hear, hear your um, stance on Symantec. So Symantec uh, is uh, the largest cybersecurity company, uh, and uh, as far as I'm concerned, it's a company that has been through an amazing transformation in all the 15 years that I've, I've been with the company. Okay. Historically, people would know us and remember us from the Norton and the Norton antivirus. Yeah, yeah. And, and we all know how the security technology and the, and the security industry has evolved over the years. Um, we've seen a trend around consolidation and we've seen a trend around driving uh, the cloud generation, the security around the cloud and integrated cyber defense, which is where, where we're moving towards. So uh, when I reflect on, let's say, how I started in Symantec and how Symantec has evolved, we've seen actually a very big transformation from a company that was focusing on, let's say, a particular uh, state of the art and best of breed point technology to solutions to then an integrated cyber defense uh, platform on the cloud. Journey, right? Exactly, yeah. exactly, on the cloud, on premise, across the board. So, so it's been it's been actually quite an evolution. Okay. What are you specifically seeing? What, in what, your what, I've, part what of I've seen. So it's interesting. I've, I've had the let, let's pick on info security for a moment. Okay. So I've had the pleasure of uh, of being of being a speaker in info security on more on, on more than a couple of occasions. Okay. So last year, for instance. I would come here and everything would be GDPR. I was going to say, they, I'm they sure would, it was GDPR, oh, right? Oh, Especially goodness. It was just after GDPR, right? A it was later. just before. I think it was just oh, before. Was in, okay. So, so, so you, you, there was even a bus with, you know, GDPR compliance. And everyone was terrified, right? It was the biggest thing. So, so exactly. So, so um, regulatory compliance, if I look at how regulation and regulatory compliance was when I started at Symantec, mm -hmm. nice to have. You yeah, know, it was just kind of an afterthought, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, well, it, was, it was, look, this wasn't a regulated space, yeah. okay, let's face it. And now, we're going to the other extreme. We're going to compliance, regulatory requirements. We are seeing, if you like, a mature, a change in the maturity of the industry. Okay. Okay, so that's... that's really a good, right? I, I, I would, so look, a lot of people will look at this and go, um, this is causing me stress, anxiety, it's difficult, it's costly. Yeah, it's, yeah, of course. On the other hand, however, um, would we accept to get inside a car that is insecure? Don't we agree? No. Of course. Of course not, right? <laughs> Don't we all agree that data is becoming the fuel of our economies? 100%. I have no question. So, so, right? so if that's the case, why are we surprised that it's getting regulated? Yeah. Something, that's a great show point. me something that's valuable in our world and not regulated. <laughs> that's enough rules point, around yeah. it. So, so when I look at how the world has evolved, certainly, um, let's say, more governance, more structure in the IT business is there. And then you look at the technology, the, the explosion and the evolution of the threat landscape. The, um, and it really has exploded. Yeah, oh, absolutely. I mean, uh, if you look at how cybersecurity attacks are happening, where we started the from, exactly, yeah. the, 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 the fact that now we don't just see collection of 
confidential, exfiltration of confidential information. We've even seen sabotage. We've even seen being cyber being used in the geopolitical spectrum. Yeah. So when you see all of that, you see, you understand that this is a, it's in a way, a brave new world, certainly very different from yeah. how things even started. 10 years ago, right? Of course, or especially 10 years yeah. ago. Yeah, <laughs> or 15 years ago when you began. Right? In my case, yeah, exactly, exactly. So, um, and then the, the industry, um, you see the consolidation, you see the new threat, the new, the new vectors of attack, or if you like, the new surfaces, mm -hmm. IoT, the yeah. discussion about artificial intelligence, the use that we do, exactly, the, 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 how cloud suddenly from something exotic new is becoming <laughs> the new way of delivering the, norm, the capability, though, precisely. Yeah. How this is driving cost and compliance, and then equally how people talk about artificial intelligence as the new thing, mm -hmm. and we are saying, yeah, it's new, but guess what? We have already technology that's using artificial intelligence to attack, to detect attacks more effectively. So, so it's a very, it's, you know, one thing is certain, we that we're in the security business, um, there's a lot of business ahead of us, okay? Oh, there's goodness. a lot, yeah. there's a lot of, and there's a lot of work that needs to be done because this is an extremely fast moving pace. Mm -hmm. Alyssa makers know it. Yeah. And, um, it's not something that one can secure and protect individually. Um, and there's, and this will continue to be an evolving landscape. Do you think the policy is keeping up fast enough to all of this? That's a difficult question, actually. <laughs> That's a, no, it's a very good question because, you know what? It's hard, um, right? It's it is very hard because uh, regulators have to, have to have other considerations. Regulators have to have considerations about balance of interest have to have considerations about what is the ultimate societal goal that they want to, uh, to, to achieve. And technologists don't necessarily have that. Or, look, we come also, we, we're coming in an industry whereby the approach has been ship it and fix it. Yeah, totally. Okay. That is totally. Let's so, think about so, it afterwards, so, right? And after that, it's reactive. So, so, so and this is a very big, this is a very big difference in comparison to the kind of standard that we're going to be expected to uphold in the near future, if not now, as we're discussing. Yeah. Because look, I mean, we're passing uh, stands of people running, it's for instance. Stands, right? yeah. <laughs> yeah, but people running, for example, SCADA system. Well, guess what? A SCADA system is actually supplying, managing the supply of water that we get. We wouldn't be okay with drinking and clean water. Uh, no. The way technology is controlling the day-to-day the -day life, really the SCADA is. system, yeah, yeah. the SCADA systems and all that. We're reliant on it now. Exactly. Then one can understand why there's going to be, there, we see this increased burden on security professionals to approach questions like cybersecurity in a different way. Okay. And then what is Symantec doing in this front? What are they, um, with all of these trends that you're seeing, with compliance, how is Symantec dealing with this? So, we're trying to do a couple of things. Okay. So, we are trying to build a unique set of capabilities that, on one hand, will enable organizations to securely move to the cloud okay. and take advantage of the cloud capabilities. We're trying to do that in a manner which is compliant and in line with the global regulatory trends that we see. We speak about privacy, and, and, and there has been a lot of discussion about privacy yeah. as it being a European problem. Of course, yeah. It's not a European problem, it's actually. A global problem. It's become exactly a global issue, and you see yeah. regulations around privacy and data management uh, popping up like, uh, like mushrooms. <laughs> Spra <laughs> like <that>. Sprouting <laughs> like mushrooms. Um, and then the other thing as well is that when I look at um, where we are moving towards, it's about as the market consolidates, as, as, as more cost is driving more pressure, how can we bring all that all together? How can we assure that we provide interoperability and a capability to integrate cyber defense so that our customers, our partners are able to understand collectively uh, the different threat landscape that is impacting them, okay. the different cyber attacks as they see them occurring in the different platforms, in the different systems that they're using. How can we bring that all together in one platform to enable us to detect, prevent, and respond to security incidents in a manner which is compliant with yeah, a different, so many with a different, moving, exactly, so parts, with a different, with a different, uh, let's say, regulatory norms as we see them emerging. Okay.